Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, CityZilla. And in today's episode, we are going to be doing a few things. So I want to work on this area. I have a couple really cool ideas. I want to put the stadium right here. And then I think we're going to do a mini transit hub right here. And then we will be expanding this road out. But then we are going to jump over here and probably add in some industrial. Um, we're really running into a lot of not enough goods issues down here. And I think because we only have one industrial area over here, it's really kind of creating some issues. Um, but a couple things I wanted to mention first, I did end up changing the color in here. I'd gotten a few comments saying that my um, color balance was just a little too white. So I softened it a little bit and then I ended up going back to the vanilla tone mapping. It still looks really, really crisp, but you can see that there's just a lot less white. Um, go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I did receive a couple really cool names for this area. Uh, I had forgotten on the last one to name the park area. And so I think we will actually come down here and the name I had gotten is Literal Bluffs. A literal is a region lying along along a shore, <laughs> which I thought, uh, you know, that's I mean, that's kind of what this is. So I think it's a good name. And that came from VE5VV. Thank you so much. Awesome name for the literal name for the park area. I'd gotten a really fun name as well. It's uh, Erosion's Edge. And I thought that was just such a cool name. It definitely fits in with our or uh, rock themed and that came from smoothie thank you so much smoothie for the name i super appreciate it and we still do have a couple of areas that need names maybe this neighborhood or this neighborhood right here uh, maybe even our little museum district that we built in the last episode which i think this came out really good and it's kind of funny while we're over here one of the things that i wanted to add in was a little crosswalk right here in the middle because i feel like if you came down here you could just walk through the parking lot but it would just be a little bit nicer if there was actually a crosswalk right there and so what we're what we're going to do first is run over here and do this quick little easy industrial area i'm just going to draw out a really simple pattern the goal for this is to just split up the industrial areas a lot of times you can uh, really prevent traffic or even eliminate traffic just by having pockets of smaller industrial areas spread out throughout your city or if you're going to do a really big one, you can do a really kind of extensive one with an awesome road layout. You just got to be careful. And so we're going to do something small over here to kind of help supplement this side of the city. I'm hoping that the production of the goods will end up uh, alleviating some of our problems, but we may still have to expand some of it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and draw out this pattern real quick. And there we go. Super easy. I ended up connecting this four lane industrial road going around just so that we could provide another kind of collector in the background. And even though there is quite a few roads right here, I think this is going to end up working out. It's not going to be a huge, uh, huge area. And so we do need to come in through here and set up our little priority signs. You know what? I'm actually just going to shift on that guy. And then we can go like this. And again, by holding shift, you just set priorities on all the roads. Super easy. Saves a lot of time. And then I'm going to go into the lane arrows and just uh, control shift. All these guys set up our little lane arrows. Um, especially since this is going to be an industrial area. And then what we're going to do with this guy is we are going to go, it looks like there's only three spaces right there. And I'm going to go like that. I'm going to leave this front area empty because I don't want zoning on this road. And I could go into zoning adjuster and just remove the zoning right there. But I think we're just going to leave it like this because then it also kind of allows us to maybe do a, an extended curb or something like going with surface painter and just kind of clean it up a little bit. We'll see though, whenever these expand out. Um, cause the zoning adjuster would probably be the, the easier bit. And so now what I want to do is come through here and uh, actually do some services right here. And I'm not going to do anything special with these guys. I'm just going to place them in a row. We just want them to be right next to each other. And it's super funny. I play with the European theme active. And so you can kind of see some of these buildings. Like, I guess, uh, this area, they decided to go a little above and beyond for the police station. They're like, you know what? We're different. We're going to do the European theme. They modeled it after a police station in the UK or something like that. Maybe Paris, but I think it looks good. It's going to serve our purpose. And then I'm just going to put in some water pipes real quick. And there we go. Water pipes added super easy. And then we should have it connected. It's not connected. Yeah, there we go. So now we can at least ensure that, uh, that they're all connected. And while we're over here, before we move on, these buildings right here have been throwing out a uh, sickness notifications like they've been routinely getting sick it's because these uh, oil sludge pyrolysis plants are kind of a little too close so if we come over here to the pollution tab you can see the pollution's kind of nixing those those buildings just a little bit 
And so I think what we're going to do is just move these guys down. It's not a huge, uh, huge move. And honestly, it probably wouldn't kill them. It just, uh, it would be unnecessary. Like, especially if you lived there and you were getting like heavy methane or something in the air, maybe because these are putting out like noxious gases, it would probably be unpleasant. You w probably wouldn't want to live there and it would actually drive down um, land values even more so than they already are. All right. So the first thing I want to do after that is uh, first off, delete this guy. We really need to do um, our uh, disaster response unit. And it's so funny. I had caught that I did these cafeterias quite a few episodes ago now. But while I was in testing for this ep episode, I realized that I never deleted them for some weird reason. And so we just had like a cafeteria hub going on back here, which I'm not totally against. I think cafeteria hubs could be positive in a lot of a lot of instances. But I think uh, for this area, having three of them in such close proximity could be weird. I mean, maybe it's uh, like a culinary school and they're like training grounds. But um, seeing as none of our big buildings are actually culinary related, we have police academy and then we have uh, tourism and leisure and then we have engineering. So, I mean, maybe tourism, leisure, hospitality could definitely lean into culinary, but I, uh, I don't think it's a good move for us for right now. Maybe we'll go back to that, though, and we'll do like a whole row of of uh, cafeterias and we'll say that it is a culinary school. But I think for right now, that's good. And so we did unlock everything for prestigious. We got the School of Engineering. We got the trade school academic statue. We got the beach volleyball club and we got the trade school media lab. And so we really don't have a lot of room over here. And I really like the layout we already have here. We already have enough dorms. We do need to place down that one that we deleted. Come up here and place that guy. Um, and we really don't have a lot of space over. Like, I don't want to start putting stuff over here. I think we're going to reserve that for some other future use. And so I think we might be able to fit all of these buildings in right here. And in my testing, I, I think it ended up coming out pretty good. I felt good about it. And so uh, just let me know what you guys think. I mean, if you think that we could have maybe created a new area for this or something, uh, maybe we can always come back and kind of mess around with that. But I think this turns out, I'm just going to increase the spacing for this. I think I'm gonna go up to like 15 and voila, perfect. And so now I'm just going to draw on a path, probably coming from here to there. And then we can figure out what we're going to do. So we'll go like that and then we'll connect that guy up. And that leaves an, enough room for us to probably do another row of palm trees real quick. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks good. Not too snazzy. It's not overdone, but it, it looks good. And so now we can fit the trade school media lab right here and I think it's going to be a great fit. Let's go ahead and look at it though. So it does look like it's a little sideways. I'd like it to be more center. Maybe if we shift it over. No, you know what? I think that looks good and it's kind of funny. It does have parking spaces so people kind of driving around with their little golf carts could um, could go in there. And so I do want to come in here and attach up another path and then we will extend this guy out because I want to create a nice area for our new park, the Trade School Academic Statue 2. Yeah, there we go. And so the reason I did that is because I wanted it to be in the center. I really want to uh, try to create a space out of that. And I think we'll even turn it the other direction so that you're kind of looking into the city a little more maybe. Yeah, there we go. And then now what I want to do is um, just put probably another planter here. Yeah, there we go. And then I can just come in here and delete these little guys. There we go. Bada bing. And then I think we're going to shift this guy up. All right. That looks good. And so now what we're going to do is go in here, complete up our path. And then I'm going to go into surface painter and just clean all these up. And there we go. And then um, for these middle sections, all I'm going to do is just come in here to my little grass pieces, which are in the mod link in my description. And I'm going to go to the eight meter block grass square. And this is conforming and I'm going to come down to spacing. And, I, and so the reason we're doing this is because we want uh, the under piece to be grass. This is kind of a cheater way that I routinely do to uh, get the grass pieces underneath my planters. But it works really well. And then all you have to do is come back and, and shift the end pieces and you're normally pretty good. You can tell I'm a little off on that front side. It's... There's a part of me that says that we can just leave it. And then there's a part of me that says, don't do it. It's incomplete. 
which I mean, it, it does leave it with some issues. All right, so I'm just going to fix this real quick. I don't think it's right. All right, and there we go. I actually think that looks really good. Um, I kind of wish this was a little more closed off, like perpendicular with this uh, path, but I think it looks good. And then um, I think having this path access over here looks good. And then I think for over here, we're just going to uh, do some trees. I think I might actually go into the bob and replace our little trees in here real quick. And then I will show you guys when I'm all done. All right, and there we go. I didn't really go too crazy on it. I just put some foliage and then some of those California palms. I really like how tall they are. I think um, it's just really cool. And they even have the little untrimmed uh, palm, uh, palm fronds and everything. And then I did a, a little rock guy right here. And so I think that looks good. We um, The university is now complete. It looks like it's already pretty popular. We got. I think we can actually decrease our funding on this now. That's kind of funny. We had already dropped down in, uh, in rankings because we lost that dormitory. But we can come in here now. Let's go ahead and drop our academic staff. because So we have five by default, which I think is good. We'll still, we'll still uh, donate to um, the grant system but i think for right now that's actually good we did a ton for this university i really like it i like how it came together i do plan on doing another university in this city though and then i do plan on incorporating some more uh, assets related to our tech university like we haven't done any of the it clusters yet which i think is going to be a huge opportunity for us to kind of capture that tech city almost you know i'm kind of excited about it so how's our industrial area doing it's actually looking pretty good um it's not really congested we have a lot of buildings so not enough workers 8 to 12 i mean we still got a reasonable so they're doing pretty good not not too many crazy notifications and so i think we can finally jump over here and so one of the comments i'd gotten was on this road to where we should either have it connected to this road network or just have it come down here um just because i having this tunnel up here would be kind of weird and so one of the reasons I had left it was because I had intentions of connecting it to the above road. And so that's what we're going to do right now. So I just moved that back. I'm going to jump into the network multi-tool and jump in here, go like that, hit enter. And then I have a really fun idea to do like some, a little nightlife corridor right here. And then we're going to do a stadium and along with stadiums, you normally have like a little stadium district. And so I want to try to capture some of that vibe here today. I do want it to have tram access. And so we're going to go over here and then I want this to kind of be in the middle of these two. So we're going to go like that and I want to turn back on snapping and there we go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's uh, about even. And then, so now what we're going to do is jump into our newer parking lot roads, which I don't think are in my mod list just yet. I'll uh, try to go in either today or tomorrow to um, update them. Um, but if you're new to the series, I normally have all my mods inside of my uh, mod list on Steam. So if you're interested in checking out which mods that I am subscribed to, go ahead and click on it in the description. And why am I in parking lots? I'm looking for a parking lot road. So parking. And yeah, it's these guys right here. So I think we're going to do this one with, is this a double-sided? Small road, no street parking. It's parking sim concrete. Hmm, this one's got a little... Areas for trees. Ah, no, I think we're going to go with this guy. And voila, we have two little roads. Before we jump out of here, let's go ahead and put in the parking spaces real quick. Super easy. All right. And there we go. Two parking lot roads. And then we will end up um, zoning these in as probably leisure. And it's going to come out really nice. I'm excited about it. And so now what I want to do is jump in here and complete our key wall. So we are going to come up here. And there we go. I think it looks pretty good. I am... Um, in my testing, I did all the key walls and I, th I thought that it just kind of cleaned it up, made it look a little more official. We are having some issues with the trams down here, though. I think it could have something to do with this. So, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell them not to stop. Just keep going. This road has priority. We don't want anybody blocking up this road, though. Getting access up here is pretty important. It would be uh, more important for us to continue this flow, especially with the trams. This would be a major issue. We don't want these trams getting stuck. Oh, there's actually a tram stop right there. I was like, why is this guy stopping? And it's kind of funny. Um, I had identified that the buses are turning right here. And it's because our nodes right here are uh, really close. So there's a node right here. And then there's a node right there. Well, there's a bus stop right here. 
and it doesn't want to change lanes in the intersection. So it's forced to take the right turn. So what we can do is jump in here and put in another node. And what that's going to do is allow the bus to change lanes right there rather than cutting up through our parking lot area up here through the school and everything. And so it's just going to be a lot easier. And so now what I'm thinking is we are going to come up here and probably delete this road. And I want to figure out a good spot for this stadium. And we're just going to do this uh, generic soccer stadium or football stadium, depending on where you're from. In America, we call this soccer. But I want it to be sideways. And I want to watch out for that sphere of noise. So we want it to be somewhere like right here. And I think we want to shift it to the other side. So I think I'm going to place it down and then we're going to move it. So I think that's probably good right there. And so what we'll do is we will jump into a four unit road. Yeah, you know what? That's actually not terrible. Um, I don't really like how this curves right there, but I, I think it actually looks good because it would be like you're, you know, driving into the stadium district. And then now what I'm thinking is we're going to do a couple little parking lot roads. I'm going to use the big parking lots again, just because this is kind of a bigger area. And I really like how you can kind of shape them and basically however you want. And so... I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and then we will go over it when I am done. And there we go. Two pretty sizable parking lots. I kind of think we should add in maybe one more entrance over to this one. I didn't add in any entrances onto the main roads for these as they tend to be really heavy on traffic, especially during game days. But you normally don't want just one entrance. So I think we will um, add in one more over here. This could end up being a huge issue. Like what if there was a fire or something in the parking lot and everybody was trying to rush out, then this could actually be a potential danger and so we would want to add in at least one more so yeah like right there's good and so now what i want to do is um probably just go into um some standard trees i think we will uh maybe even generic pine tree let's go ahead and look at this guy so generic pine tree that could actually look good we haven't really used a whole lot of pine trees on this map and so let's see what that is the palm tree still I think that's a little too close. So let's try to increase the spacing just a smidge. Maybe we'll go up to 10. Come down here. Yeah, you know what? That's actually much better. And there we go. Nothing too crazy. Um, I could replace these palm trees in here too, but I think that actually looks good, especially for a little tropical map. And then I think having the, the palm trees around the outside is kind of nice. And then now what we're going to do is jump in here and we're just going to do probably this stadium section is one district yeah there you go and then if you guys want to come up with a fun name for this like maybe i don't know crater lake geologists or something like that something kind of silly or fun um but we are going to jump in here and go to leisure and my idea is to just put in some small leisure in here we're going to jump into zoning adjuster though and uh, I want to make sure to get as much zoning as we can for those little guys. And then I'm going to go to prioritize new roads. We can turn back on that zoning. I don't think we're going to use it all, but don't make me turn you off again. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And then um, let's go in here and just get all this in there. Perfect. That actually worked out really well. We got four squares on the outsides and then three on the inside. And then we could, you know, we don't really need a path. Um, and so now what I want to do is hook up our tram line. We had a, this tram road that we put in here, but we really didn't put it anywhere else. And so I think I'm going to use the picker mod, grab that same road and go all the way around this guy. All right. So now that we have that road around, what I want to do is create a small little transit hub. And so we can actually impose it now. Let's go ahead and make sure that this guy's got water first though. All right, they have water. And so now I want to do a small transit hub and we're going to keep following the same tram design just because we are, trams are a big part of the city and I really like trams in real life too. I think they're just fantastic. Yeah, look at that. That is perfect. And then it leaves some room for us to do um, maybe a little plaza or something over here. And so we don't have any train access at all in our city. And so I was kind of playing around with this, like trying to think what we could do. And so I, I think what we're going to do is put in a metro station on the other side of this train station, because getting around the, the this train track is kind of difficult. And I really just don't think the city would spend that amount of money to create a huge bridge going over it, especially since we're already investing so heavily in trams for this area. Um, but I do want to put in that metro and then I think we're going to have it come up here and probably connect right there maybe. I think that would be good if we did a little branch off right here. 
because then we could even do like maybe a station right here and kind of connect up this since this metro kind of just cuts through here and doesn't have any stations. It's so interesting. I didn't realize that. So we have a station right there and we have a station up here. We didn't put any stations in here. That's so cold. But um, this can be a good opportunity for us. So I do want to come in here first and go to trains. We're just going to do the standard guy. I actually really like the, the standard train station. I think it looks good. Maybe we'll go further out. So let's go ahead and look at the bus station too. I think we're going to do this small guy, inner city bus station. All right. So I think what we'll do is we will move this back here and then we will come into our train, come over here and then move this guy back. And I think we're going to put in a different road because then we can actually keep this road as tram only, which I think would be super smart. And then I think we will come in here and just use surface painter around this guy just to clean it up. Yeah, that looks good. That actually looks really good. I think we may do a couple planters in there too. I think it looks good. Um, we'll, I think we'll put in a fence around this guy. That would be good because then we could follow that fence around. But we'll see. We may, um, we may play around with that. And so in order to get this out, we need to um, clear this road. So I think what we're going to do... I think we're going to page down on this guy. Not a lot, just enough to allow room. Yeah, there we go. So we moved the road down just ever so slightly. There is a little bit of a bump now in the road, but I think this would be something that the city would end up saving a lot of money on. And so I think I could, I could definitely see this being justified, but I'm not a civil engineer, so I'm not entirely certain. <laughs> Um, but if you happen to be a civil engineer and you're watching, maybe you could let me know. All right. And so now, um, we only need access going one way and that's because the opposite direction is just our cargo terminal. And so we're just going to go like that and then we're going to go straight just a smidge and we're just going to connect that up. That actually looks pretty good. This looks terrible. Um, we, we definitely need to figure something out for this. Yeah, there we go. I think that actually looks good. I did end up shifting this back just a little bit. Um, I think it looks good. And then now all I want to do is go in here and we are going to use our handy dandy airport fence and fence this all off. And then we're going to do some trees and some planters and stuff and just kind of make it look good. Cause right now I think it just kind of looks weird. It's just like a concrete blob. All right. And so now it is fenced off and then we can actually come back in here and um, just kind of, I mean, it's, it, it looks weird. You guys can say it having these little bumps and stuff here is uh it's not great. I mean, these don't look bad, but I think over here what we'll do is um, we'll do some foliage, just kind of cover it up a little bit, make it look a little bit better. And then I think we'll do just a couple smaller planters on the other side. I think it could look good. Nothing too intense, but um, stuff that still looks good. So I think we'll go like that and then maybe we'll put in a big rock. It's kind of like a standard landscaping I do, but it looks good. You know, it's, it's not overdone. So then we will come in here and do planter. And I think we'll just do a couple of these square guys. Yeah, I think this looks good. And then I think we will um, cover, follow the curb. So maybe we'll go like right there. We'll go like right there. Nothing too intense, but something that just looks kind of clean. Cleans it up a little bit. And we'll do the same thing over here. And you kind of see this a lot in like big parking lots where they're, they're not exactly connected. And so the planters are just to be kind of like a natural barrier. Well, uh, I don't really like how that's not symmetrical, but it's symmetrical with the road. <laughs> I, um, I think it looks weird. And then I think in the back, these uh, concrete bushes look weird. Maybe we can do some small planters back here. Uh, I mean, it looks weird, but uh, we're going to roll with it. We'll actually just critique the architects on this one. Uh, this is kind of a weird design, but. Um, we're going to move from it and say that it is complete. And so now we um, should be able to unpause and get our inner city train in here. And that's really what I was building this for. And so now we have our access over there. We have our cargo. And you really got to be careful once you start doing inner city train. This is when you really start getting some crazy traffic. And so I have a, a couple episodes dedicated to train traffic and so if it's something that you're dealing with i go through um in zilla would we we had a couple episodes where i literally deleted the entire train network and redid them and it came out pretty good um the rebuilt one actually worked really well i didn't ever have to do it again 
but uh, it's definitely a common issue. So I think for these outside ones, we'll keep them like that. And then I think I can go into the ore. I think it's either oil. Yeah, it is oil. We don't need oil over here. So we'll come over here and just gonna delete these guys. Just suck up the oil. All right, so what we're gonna do first is set up our tram lines. So I'll go into trams and go down to our lines. And I want to first off grab this guy. All right, so for our first one, what we're gonna do is have it come out here and we're gonna have it go this way. Come around, go like that, go like that, go like that. And then I'm gonna have it loop up here. And I don't want it to stop in here because then it's gonna impede those uh, white trams. I do want it to stop right there though. And then we'll have it stop right there and then have it just come back in and complete. And then we will do the same thing for this side, just the opposite direction, just so that it kind of cuts the travel time a little shorter if you need to go to a stop that was before the stop. Whereas if you just do the one, um, they kind of have to drive all the way around. And so it's a really good method to um, optimize your paths. And so I think what we're going to do is just go in here and do um, some shelters. I have a couple of these uh, really cool little um, tram shelters. So like this tram shelter, kind of see what it looks like. It's not huge, but it is enough. And so I think what we'll do is we'll go like that and then we'll go like that. And it does look like they're going to be on that other side too. I, you know, it's so funny. We should have, um, so we're actually going to zone. We're going to concrete these guys in too. All right, there we go. I did shelters all the way down. I put in little benches. It looks pretty good. Some of them aren't perfect. I think I may go through here and just adjust some of them to kind of clean up the alignment a little bit. It's not a lot, but it is enough to kind of cause a little bit of a bother. Like you can kind of see this the left is just ever so slightly off. Yeah, there we go. And then what I'm thinking for the middle sections is to actually use some park assets. So I think we're going to come in here and we're going to paint this as we don't need it to be that big. Come down. I guess, um, yeah, we'll go like that. Yeah, there we go. And then while we're in here, let's go ahead and paint in this district too. And voila. And if you guys want to come up with a fun name for the uh, transit terminal, go ahead and let me know something tram or rock related, something like that. And so um, what I want to do is go into our surface painter real quick and actually get rid of our concrete so we can see. And then we're going to go into paths and do some across roads. And so I'll get that done real quick. All right. So I just put in paths in between them all and then kind of connected them up to the stations. Um, people would still have to kind of walk around the stations in order to get to the next bay, but that's kind of common for um, a lot of stations like this. They would realistically be able to cross over the tram tracks. I don't know if we can actually put in a little Oh, it does look like we can do a little cross. That's interesting. Eh, I mean, we're going to go ahead and do it. I don't know if that's the best idea, but I like that they would now be able to cross if they needed to. And so now I want to jump into parks and I want to do a couple of those little restaurants and possibly the plazas. And voila. I uh, kind of took it a little crazier than I was anticipating, but it actually was really easy. I just copied the same planter that we were using over in the university area just because I felt like it was going to be really easy and it fits this area really well. Um, and they actually be, ended up being like the perfect size for this area too. But then um, all I did here was I used my little curb networks with um, those little grass networks as well. And again, both both of them are a part of my mod collection on Steam. And if you want to check that out, go ahead and look in the description. There is a link to it. And so I did the curbs, then these little grass networks, and just a couple small bushes and then three trees. And then what I did was went in to move it, just uh, selected all of them, and then copied. And it's a really easy way to get a uniform look, especially in an area like this. Because a lot of times whenever you see detailing like this, you think like, oh man, it's going to take so much time and, and a lot of mods. And it's really not the case. Like custom assets, yes, you know, the grass and the curbs, those obviously aren't in the game. Um, I could still make the grass possible though, even without surface painter. Um, it's something that I did like with these guys before I put the grass in. I just left uh, an open area kind of like this, how um, it's just surface painter isn't around it. You do have to be kind of careful because you end up getting some clipping with surface painter, but you still end up making it look pretty good. And so our tram line is just swamped. We really, uh, this guy is just crazy. Like, like 300. 
122, 27. And so this is why uh, we really need to get, we really need to get like a, a Metro over here. So I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to 30, but then we are going to jump over here and do our Metro station real quick. So we're going to go in here and we're going to jump into our content creator packs. And we've pretty much used all three of these already, but I think we're going to go like right there. You know what? Let's actually go in the middle. I think that will be better. All right, so I think um, this looks pretty good. I decided to put it in the middle there as it was kind of weird over here. And so let's go ahead and look at our uh, at a path now. So what I was originally thinking was coming up here and connecting, but I think if we could actually turn down this road, because right now we're providing a little bit of access for this neighborhood. And it, if we could provide just a smidge more of access over here, I think it would be fantastic because then we could have it come down here and turn and uh, probably connect up right here. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. So we'll go into the Metro and we're gonna come in here. And I think we're going to delete this guy since the straight road would end up having precedence in this type of situation. Straight, uh, straight away. Cause then now what we can do is, uh, I don't even, I don't think we're gonna go the opposite direction. So yeah, we'll just go the one way because right now we really don't need, we're not going to have a line coming from the other direction. And if somebody does want to go the other direction, they can just get off here and then transfer. It does, um, does kind of suck, but it's just where we're at right now. I don't think having that multi-direction is really needed at this moment, but maybe we'll go back and change that. I, I could be wrong there. Yeah, there we go. That actually looks pretty good. And then now what I'm going to do is um, just kind of level it out. So I want to make sure that all of our levels are good. We're not insanely high. Like this is just insane. So I'm actually going to go through and just select all the nodes um, with shift click and then uh, lower it all down to a more reasonable height. And that's actually a pretty good height. It does look like it drops down over here, but I, I don't think that's the end of the world because it's at zero right now. And so it being substantially taller than, than the street isn't the end of the world. And it is something that you sometimes see like uh, New York, the elevated Metro has areas where it is uh, substantially higher than the road. And so it's not incredibly unrealistic. Uh, Chicago has it as well in some areas. And then I think um, in Cleveland, there's actually a, a rail line that's really high up. But I think that looks good. And so now it goes from here, goes over to here. Maybe we, you know, we could do, because I think, how many lines are in here? I don't know, so it's, it's already two. I really don't want to congest this area even more. I'm tempted to connect it up though, because that could be good. You know what, we're gonna do it. I feel like if the city was spending the money on this, um, they would they would do this. All right, so I ended up putting in this other little diagonal row, this other uh, metro, and it's not the perfect angle, but it does allow me to hook up the lines. I kind of wish this was a little bit better, but I don't think it's the end of the world for right now. Um, and then I went in and I put in two metro lines. So I did two separate lines. Um, they're both green for right now, but we have one that goes up here, stops at both of these, stops at both of these, and then stops back here. And then we have the second one that goes from here all the way over here. And so we now have access from our central tram transit terminal that has access to our downtown area and then our university. And these are all now connect. And so we pretty much have every neighborhood within the, within the city connected now. Um, this neighborhood right here is underserved. This neighborhood right here is underserved. These areas right here have the regular tram lines, but they don't have any metro access. This area back here is underserved. So I think what we're going to do too is um, maybe do some bus lines. But I want to unpause the game and let's go into our metro now and go to our two green lines. I'm going to change the color. We're going to go blue and then we'll go yellow since well, we do have a yellow. So we'll go red. And then I want these to be the high capacity Metro. And so let's look at, I'm guessing that the stops here are gonna be pretty congested. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that these start to be really busy lines. And it does kind of suck. It is a little bit farther away from our main tram and then train stop, but I think it's still gonna provide some pretty good access. Um, I wonder if this is getting, 
trains. I haven't seen any yet, and there's really nobody waiting. It's not normally a good sign. And there's a street light. I think a street light going through that would um be potentially pretty dangerous. Yeah, there we go. That actually is probably better for the line now. But we haven't seen any um, any trains. I wonder if this is actually connected up. Come on, guys. Where are we going? Before my tests, a lot of people were actually coming here. So that's what's up. Oh. There was one person that came out. Two people. Does it have a phantom train? Is there a phantom train here? What's going on? All right. So passenger service last week, zero. It's not good. All right. So we hooked it up. Hopefully we start to get some uh, trains in here. Do we, we don't have any issues over here. Do we have a train back up somewhere? Because I'm not seeing any trains now. Up, oh, there's some trains. So we do have trains on the line. All right, well, we're just going to have to wait and see because our, our trams are doing crazy. Look at all these people. This is just so crazy. All these. I wonder if they're going up to our metro now. So they're coming up here, going, oh yeah, look at this. Oh man, I knew. So this whole area was so underserved. Look at this. We're going to have to look at our metro line. This is just, um, this is getting out of hand now. We're going to have to figure this out. So metro, it was five. So this is for both lines. Both lines are just packed. All right, so we got three vehicles. I think we, we'll go ahead and bump that up to four. These are the 500 person trains, so I think four can um, service this line pretty good. And so that is the dark blue line. It's that one on this side. So there's like 200 people waiting there. And so let's look at the red line now. And so the red line is the one actually going downtown. So it looks like the blue line is the university one, but it looks like this one's pretty packed too. So I think we're going to go four on this one as well. I think that'll be good. And so now I can't believe how packed that is. I didn't, I really didn't think it was going to be um, that big of a deal. It almost makes me wonder if we should do some sort of bridge or maybe have the tram come up here just to do a drop off. Cause I think all these people crossing over could potentially be a problem. It's going to block traffic, but we'll see. Um, our tram line or our train line still shows zero people. Um, I think we have an issue. I think I'll probably have to go back in here and delete this, but we'll see. And so the last thing I want to do is just um, do some bus lines. So we have no bus lines right now. Basically, we have inner city bus, but we um, only have buses going to our area up here. And then we have a line that comes down here. And so we have a couple underserved areas in here, mainly our industrial and then over here. And so what I want to do is, uh, so it says city needs power. Ooh, we need another power plant. Hmm. Okay. So I think we're going to do some geothermals over here. Go like that. Bada bing, bada boom. That looks terrible. Look at this. All right. Well, we're going to have to do some shifting. Go like that. Shift this guy down. Yeah, look at that. And I really don't think they would... They would terraform that, but I don't know. It doesn't look great, but it's okay. It's kind of by our tech university. It's a, you know, power plant geothermal. So we're doing our part for the planet. That's really all that matters. And so we're going to go in here, go into buses, and we are going to go like this. And we're going to have this guy be kind of a line over here because our downtown over here is kind of underserved. We really only have that metro. And the problem with the buses is we're going to have to really watch traffic. I have a feeling that our next episode is going to be on traffic. So we got to be careful. And then we will come up here and just complete that line. And then we're going to do an industrial route too. So we will come over here. We'll have it stop in front of the school just because we can. And then we'll have it come over here. We'll have it come up here. Have it go right there, right there. And then we... up. Oh, Oh uh, yeah, you know what? We can have it turn back here. I think that could be good because we really don't have any um, any stops or anything over here. And then we will uh, have this go over here. And I'm not putting any stops on these uh, routes with all these lines because people already have access to this area. And if they're in this area, then they can walk to the station and actually hop on the bus. It's not that far of a walk. 
And so now what I want to do is come back here and kind of take that same route. I think we will do double stops on this one because it's going to be down for this area. And this would help for um, any of those people who are maybe walking down here. We'll just give them a little bit faster of a route. Come up here, go like that, go like that, and then we will come over here, go like that, and then we will come down here and complete. And you know what? Before we get a little too crazy, I think we're going to leave it at that because um, with all these buses coming out, so we need to come in and, and change the color. So we'll do green. We will do blue. We will do yellow. And we'll go ahead and leave all the airport lines, though. So those three... I actually think three is our downtown. So let's go we'll go magenta. But I want to turn these into the super bendy buses. These are those ones that hold, I think, 100 people, I believe. Voila. There we go. And then now we should unpause. And let's see if that wrecks our whole city with traffic. <laughs> so right now we are at a respectable 83. We do have some red areas, but nothing too crazy. We still do have that persistent tram problem right here, but that's uh, pretty normal. I'm hoping that our new uh, tram upgrades are going to really help out the city a lot. And I'm really hoping that the buses are as well. We haven't really done too many buses. And so, and so now our whole city is hooked up with um, mass transit. So our tram actually has lines that run down this way. And then we have lines that run down here to the university. And then we have lines that pretty much run this whole middle section, but we have lines that come down here and circle this whole guy with another tram station depot. And then we have Metro that runs right here all the way our little downtown up to the airport. Then we have it come down here, down to our little university area. Then we have it come up here, turn and go right there. And then we have buses that fill in the blank spot. So a bus that comes down here, a bus that serves back here, a bus that serves the outer downtown area. Bus that serves the airport, bus that is a shuttle for the airport. Then we have a bus stop that goes from here down to our tourism area, kind of like more of a direct route shuttle, maybe for the hotels or something. And so now our whole city is covered in transit. We've really done a lot in this episode. I kind of wasn't anticipating doing all this, but it kind of, you know, one thing rolled into another and we uh, ended up doing a lot. So let me know what you guys think of the new transit hub and the, the new stadium and then all the transit fixes. On the next episode, we will probably be dealing with traffic. I, I definitely have a feeling that all of those bendy buses are going to be causing some problems that you can already see. Look at these guys because our station's back here too. These guys are just, it's going to be an issue. And so um, if you guys are interested in watching me build out another transit terminal, go ahead and click on the video on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next episode.